Hey guys, welcome back to another Brad Tragic Movie Mayhem video. Um, I just shot one for a movie called Time Lapse, so if you haven't checked that out, definitely go back and check out that review. Um, I'll be quite honest with you, I think I've said this in a few other videos, uh, if I'm watching anything new or um, fresh, I'm usually watching it digitally. Um, it's what I do now. I don't really buy movies very often. Um, one, I just don't really see the need. Like, there is some movies that I would like to have in my collection, and I believe I've showed off a few of them, and I, I probably will do a video like that where I show um, what I believe is some uh, some really good movies that I will probably never get rid of. Those are the movies I want to have in my collection. Um, there are a few that I've gotten rid of, so forth, and um, that I probably want to get back at some point, either on DVD or Blu-ray. It really doesn't matter. As long as I have the movie in some format, I can watch why I'm telling you this is that this movie would be one of them that I would like to buy on DVD. Um, this movie is really awesome. I could probably watch this movie probably every three or four months and probably still be entertained by it. And it's because it has one of my favorite actors in it, um, Ed O'Neill. You know, I, I love Married with Children. I, you know, I, I, I loved, I, I think he was in some other movie that I liked too. I can't remember. Anyway, um, but Lemon Art Children, and I, and I love this movie, Dutch. Um, I found this a long time ago. I think when I first started, I think when I first uh, moved out on my own, I found this movie. I may have found it, I think, a little bit before that. Um, but I had the VHS copy, so it has to be um, before I moved out or something. But, um, but I remember watching it a long time ago, and I don't think I liked it originally. But then after I started watching Murder Children, I started getting some of the jokes, I think. I liked Ed O'Neill a lot more, and I checked this movie out again, and I just absolutely love it. Um, the movie is called Dutch, uh, D-U-T-C-H, and uh, the movie is on Netflix right now, so if you want to check it out, um, tell me what you think. Um, the other actors in it you'll know, but I don't think they're anybody popular or famous or anything like that. Um, there is a scene where there's um, a couple, they call them uh, hookers, you know, that um, I'm not going to give any plot lines away or anything, so if you want to watch it, if you've never seen it before. Um, but I think those people may be somebody famous, but I'm not really sure. Like somebody that probably are well-known names today, they may be. I'm not sure. Um, but I know um, the guy that plays the father, he was in a few things. Um, and maybe kind of recent that he's been in a few things, but I'm not really sure. Um, but he's probably changed in looks and such since then, but... Um, but that's about it. Not really no major names. The kid was in a few things. Um, I think he was in a TV show that was popular in the 80s or 90s. Um, but the movie's basically, this is the entire movie, basically, is that um, he's a rich snob. His dad uh, has custody of him. He's in, a, he's in a boarding school or private, I think it's a private school would be what it was. Uh, a private school. And he, you know, he basically lives there. Like, he doesn't ever come home, really. Um, his dad's really rich, a snob. He thinks, you know, he owns the world and um, his kid's the same way. And he, he really blames his mom for everything. He blames his mom for everything and he doesn't, doesn't really ever want to see his mom since they got, since, you know, they got divorced. And um, what happens is Al, Ed O'Neill, his actor he plays, I think it's, uh, oh, Dutch. That, how is the movie called Dutch? Uh, his name is Dutch Dooley. So, and you don't know what he does, you don't know anything about him until the end of the movie you find out what actually he does do. Um, because uh, during the movie, you know, the kids call him working class and everything like that. He, he thinks he's trash. And but you find out in the movie, not quite, not quite. Um, but he does uh, mention that he does own a company at one point near the beginning of the movie. So, you know he's not complete trash, but, you know, probably not what... You know, he's not up to the standards of what this kid is. So basically, the whole story is um, she wants him to be home for Thanksgiving, uh, the mother. And so, you know, Ed O'Neill's character, Dutch, uh, agrees to go down, pick him up, and the mother's worried about it, everything like that. And basically, hijinks ensue, and a lot of things happen. You know, he's playing pranks on Ed O'Neill's character, Dutch, and. Uh, Dutch is playing pranks on him right back to show him that he's not going to take any crap off of him. You know, well, it, it's crazy what happens in the movie. You know, it's it's almost like if you were to pick up a stranger and a hitchhiker and 
this could happen, you know? <laughs> it would be like the worst uh, hitchhiker ride of all time. Um, but the movie's great. You know, I love the movie. There is some, like, points in the movie where it just kind of drags. Um, I would absolutely give this movie probably, like, a, a B-. minus. But I love it. I could watch this movie probably, like, once every six months and get entertained by it. It's it's a good movie. I know I said four months. It's not going to go, but whatever. Four to six months, whatever. Um, basically, you can watch this a couple times a year, you know, and it, it would be great. I love, I love the movie, you know. Some people probably wouldn't like it a lot. Um, you know, you've probably seen it a billion times with different actors, but, you know, Ed O'Neill, he's hardly in any, he, I don't think he's hardly in any movies. So it's interesting when you get a movie like that, that a guy's probably not going to be in any movies, you know, at a major role ever again. So, and he did a good job, so I don't understand why he didn't ever get any other acting roles, so kind of weird unless they want to cast him in a bunch of comedy roles and playing the same character because he kind of does play kind of the Al Bundy character a little bit but not really he kind of plays kind of like um if I kind of wanted to kind of put him in the character he probably could have played Uncle Buck uh in my opinion and I think he is in that movie I'm thinking he is in an Uncle Buck movie um but anyway that's a good movie and uh you should definitely check it out it's on Netflix right now uh, if you've never checked out Netflix, it's really good. I'm not getting paid before by him or anything like that. But um, Netflix is really good. You can complement it with Hulu and um, some other things. Uh, Vudu is a, actually a pay thing for each movie that you want to get. So there's a lot of ways to digitally watch movies and things like that. Guys don't feel the need to buy movies anymore. Um, <clears throat> you can also you know, go to Walmart and get cheap $5 movies. So movies are awesome and you should continue to watch movies. I hope you enjoyed this video down below. Name some of your movies that really aren't super popular that you guys enjoy down below. Let me know about that. Because I know Dutch is one of my favorites. And I have a few other guilty pleasure movies. You know, like Super Mario Brothers that I've reviewed on this channel. That I really, really love. I like to watch every once in a while. Um, Super Mario Brothers is probably the one that's like Dutch though. Dutch is a really funny movie and it's really entertaining. Um, so let me know what you think about this movie down below. And like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like the video, maybe tell you what. Tell me what I did wrong. Tell me what would you like to see on the channel. What more of. Um, definitely more videos on the way. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.